guys, Phil Bedford here, the Rebel Networker, and welcome to this week's show. Today, I'm here in Dubai with Dave Allen. Thanks. So welcome. Glad to be here. Um, and really just to ask you for a bit of a tip. Um, one of the things I find as a coach, uh, particularly helping business owners to have better relationships with the right people, and those people helping them become more efficient, uh, efficient and effective in their business generation, we have to show people tools and techniques to do that. So people will invest in education, invest in learning, and then as they're learning, start to apply tools and techniques. And often what I see happen, and I'm sure happens for a lot of coaches out there, is as the individual starts to apply this material, they suddenly become overawed. And they start to think, well, I'm learning, but then I'm not doing. And often they'll come up to us as coaches and say, I need to stop. I need to pause this and stop and come back to you when I can apply all this, because I don't feel like I'm getting value now. Of course, that then causes them to pause and starts to have impacts on their business. What would be your tips to help them getting things done in those kind of environments? Well, I think, first of all, they need to be real clear what outcome they're after. And when they get clear about what outcome they're after and then say, okay, well, what are the behaviors that I can do that are going to move me toward that outcome that are not necessarily big things they need to do? Oftentimes people create monsters in their mind about how much stuff they need to do in order to be able to do it. But as you know, you know, they're just little tiny incremental things people can do moving in that direction. You know, I say small things done consistently in strategic places create huge results. So you've got to define what those small things are. And from a coaching standpoint, you want to make sure that the, that the client has some small things to do that are in that direction. So they get, so they get some, you lower the barrier to entry and they get some quick wins. So you need to build in something to build in quick wins and then make sure that they don't freak themselves out by all the stuff they see in the future. You know, it's the really creative people that freak themselves out because they're imagining all the things they're gonna have to do and all the things they're not doing if they don't do that. And you just need to bring them back to, okay, current time, today, tomorrow, on the next day, what could you do that would at least move the needle a little bit in that direction? And I think uh, you know, they need to take the accountability to then make sure they've got some action steps themselves clear about what they were going to do so that they leverage their investment. Okay. So, so one of the things you're suggesting and that I'm hearing in there is, is to bring it into their realm of uh, understanding that they've actually had successes. Yes, oh, uh, indeed. Yeah. And that lots and lots of small ones generates compound growth. Exactly. Uh, and, and recognizing that so they're not beating themselves up. Sure, exactly. And, you know, to ask themselves, uh, I like the idea of what's a keystone habit or a keystone behavior. You, you know, if you've got too many behaviors out there in your mind, you're going to have to do it. So, oh, that's too much stuff to do. But what one, if you did that one, would start to, you know, have the domino effect and the other ones would sort of fall into line. For some people, for instance, exercise might be the one habit or the one thing. If they started to do a little bit more of that, their energy would be up with their energy up, then it's easy to do some of the other things that they want to do. So I would ask yourself, what's the keystone thing? A small thing I could do that it in itself, itself has is that kind of gold nugget that might trigger mm. some other stuff. So a bottleneck really at stopping it. Will exactly, the exactly. You just, you just want to be appropriately engaged yeah. with moving forward. You don't want to, you know, freak yourself out that it's not perfect yet. You know, like, like make a mistake. Just keep moving. You know, in the martial arts that I had a lot of experience with, what you don't do is stop moving. Right. If you're sparring, you, even if you're moving in the, in the opposite direction, it takes less energy to change directions 180 degrees than to start moving from a standstill. So don't let yourself stand still. Find something that keeps you engaged, at least even a small way. Brilliant. So find your flow. Keep. I oh, love it. Fantastic. I want to keep this short and sharp. David, thank you so much for your tips. Indeed, sure. And uh, see you next week on the Rebel Networker.